Today's video is about guacamole. 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 Hey guys, today's video is about guacamole and this is a special request from my sister Edna in the Philippines because she always hears me talking about I'm making guacamole. Um, avocado is very abundant in the Philippines. We use it a lot. It's more like a dessert. Um, avocado ice cream, avocado shake, stuff like that. But here in the US, we use it a lot for guacamole. Actually, avocado is the only required ingredient in guacamole and maybe a little lime. Other than that, everything in the guacamole is optional. So depending on how you like your guacamole. And when we went to Mexico, we went to a restaurant and all they have really is just avocado and a little lime, probably a little salt and pepper. That's all the guacamole. Anyhow, Guacamole is also a staple in most of the Mexican restaurant here, Southwest um, area in the United States also are very fond of guacamole. I like guacamole. Brian likes guacamole. I mean, we eat guacamole all the time. Goodness gracious. Anyhow, so let's make guacamole. So, ingredients are two avocados, maybe a half of a lime, chop garlic which is about two cloves of garlic and i have about a quarter cup of fresh cilantro plus minus depending how much you like it and of course i have some um, yellow onion and preferably shallot if you have or or red onion and then of course i have some cherry tomatoes that was grown from brian's garden and of course another optional item is your cumin just a pinch of it. Cut your avocado in half. Pretty avocado, isn't it? Look at that, how beautiful it is. And this avocado, you should watch my blog about how to preserve avocado. This has been in my refrigerator for at least three weeks. So still perfect, very nice. And here's another one. Look at that, perfect. Follow that blog. So it's very easy. So now you're gonna cut this avocado in quarters. And I'm gonna take the seed off, just like that. And the seed comes off easily, your avocado is perfect. If, it come, if it's very hard to come out, that means your avocado is not quite right, okay? And this guacamole, we're gonna make it chunky. So we're not gonna mash it too much. So you basically peel your avocado into the bowl, just like that. And actually they say the green edge like that of avocado is the most nutritious part of avocado. So you wanna make sure you get every single bit of it, okay? Just like that. So first we're gonna smash the avocado and I'm not gonna smash it too much because Brian likes his guacamole chunky, okay? Because when we put our tomatoes and stuff, it's gonna get and I like my guacamole chunky too. I don't want it creamy. Okay, I think that's good enough for right now. And then we're gonna put our tomatoes, depending how much you like. And then our cilantro. I like a lot of cilantro. And it's actually cilantro is healthy for you. This much garlic. 
So or maybe more. Of course, onion, Edna, that's optional. I know you don't like onion, so you can get rid, you don't have to have onion. Use a pinch of, and then of course your lime. We're probably gonna use like a quarter of this lime. We're not the, using the whole thing. And then a little salt. And just mix it all up and like I said you know you can put as much tomatoes as you like or less tomatoes I might end up just putting all the tomatoes in how's that I'm gonna just put all the tomatoes in. you like that Brian see <laughs> all right that looks good it's for a little taste test Oh, look at that chips. Whoop. And that's how you're going to eat the guacamole right there. Oh, Lord. I cannot wait. There you go. Oh, my God. Perfect. I don't even have to add extra garlic. This is good. Mm. I don't want to double dip. So if you enjoy this blog, please follow East West Picayune for more New Orleans fun, adventure, travel, food, and financial matters. Please put your comment down below if you like this recipe. Or what do you put in your guacamole? Until then, Bye! I won't give him any. That slap your mama Sita good. <laughs>See, that's what the guacamole can do to you. He now speaks Spanish. And I never did before. The espanol is no muy bueno. Mmm. Is it just enough salt? There's a party in my mouth. I'm gonna change it to hyperlapse. goodness gracious anyhow so <laughs> so let's make guacamole and avocado is the main ingredient in guacamole and actually that's probably the only what now <laughs> the only required ingredient <laughs> adventure new orleans fun until then Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Ring, ring, what?